Hello, good evening to you wherever you are. The first piece of news to bring you is the fact that the heavens have opened a rainy night here. My name is Derek Ray. With me in the commentary position is the Arsenal legend Lee Dixon. And we're on the cusp of bringing you live action from one of the most exciting leagues in Europe, the Championship. It's Brentford and they take on Preston North End. Yeah, thanks, Derek. Should be a good game, this one. I always wanted to start the game on the front foot, fast play, force the opposition to respond. Hopefully we get that from the start of this match. Well, here's the line-up for Brentford. This particular setup is becoming more and more in favour. Yes, Derek, one central striker, two wingers that will provide the width, a very narrow three in midfield. A back four, the two full-backs will be expected to support, but also defend and help out the centre-backs. Oh, goodness, he was right on top of the situation to get the ball back for his team. Jensen. Christian Nurgaard. It's time to play it over. That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances. News coming through of a goal in the Leeds United match. Let's hear about it from Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Leeds United. Useful looking ball. There it is. A delightful start to this match. Just what they were hoping for. The opening goal of the game then. Well, we had to interrupt Alan McAnally in full flow there. Apologies for that. Just to confirm, Leeds United have scored in that match. And their lead stands at 1-0 presently. Brown. Stockley. A bit sloppy in possession. Surely, frantic action from one end to the other. They weren't ahead for long. And this match is level again. So, a level contest, 1-1. One, one. A goal has gone in in the Reading match. Alan McAnally has the details, Alan. It's a goal for Reading, 30 minutes played, 1-0. Thanks as ever for the update, Alan. And breaking at pace with Menace. Well, that break looked so promising, but nothing coming from it. Still pushing for that goal that would see them forge ahead. Well, great read there to intercept. He's got the right idea with that pass. The offside flag had to go up, and it did. Yeah, look along the line, look along the line. Obstructing the main entrance, please remove the car as soon as possible. Thank you. Gomez. Stockley. Pearson. Barkhausen. It looked as though he almost forced the shot that time. Well, it's OK shooting from there, but you have to test the keeper. A goal has been scored in the Huddersfield Town match. Alan McAnally with more. It's a second goal for Huddersfield Town. 27 minutes played, 2-1. Alan McAnally with his finger on the pulse. Good pressure to win the ball back. Running towards goal. Still alive. And he's made it a brace for himself. The defender is just unable to stay with him, and he's having a field day. Well, here's the replay. I never liked rebound goals off goalkeepers. The defenders should be there. Probably would have been my fault. On that occasion, his defenders went missing. So there we have it, 2-1. Said Benrama. 
the hosts have had the lion's share of possession. But after that, it's been really disappointing. Players are looking at each other. You've got to take control. You've got to take responsibility yourself. Make something happen in this game. Well, there might well be scope for them to counter-attack here. And they can't quite take advantage in the end. On the ball, Jensen. I understand there's been a goal in the Derby County game. Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Derby County. 39 minutes played. 1-0. Thanks very much as always, Alan. Barkhausen on the ball. Stockley. Gomez. Well, they have the ball once more. Henry. Janssen. We've had the official word. There will be a minimum of two added minutes. Options in the centre. He cuts it back. Goalkeeping right out of the top drawer. I cannot believe he's kept that out the net. Absolutely amazing. And over comes the corner. It hasn't come to very much. Here's Nurgard. And with that, the first half draws to a close. Two teams have switched around and are ready now for the second half. Far from a good pass. Giving it a try. The keeper was never likely to be in trouble then. And news coming through of a goal in the Birmingham match. Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Birmingham City. 48 minutes played. 1 1. Alan McAnally keeping us right up to date. Ben Rama. And this really ought to be a championship game to savour. It's live on EA TV. It's Brentford taking on Stoke City. Yeah, it's very easy to build a case for those two teams to make that game a real cracker. You should be tuning in for that one. Take some progress with the ball at his feet. I well, just couldn't keep the ball. Well, more championship action for you to look forward to on EA TV. It's Preston North End taking on Birmingham City. Yeah, atmospheres make games, Derek, and that should be an absolute belter. Oh, a tremendous vision. Looking for that final pass and for that chance to level the game. Hendrik Dalsgaard. Wonderful block. Can't miss, surely. Easy save. A complete miscue by the goalkeeper. Will there be a price to pay? Right, there's been a goal at the Liberty Stadium and ready to tell us all about it is Alan McAnally. Alan. It's a third goal for Swansea City. 61 minutes played, 3-1. Many thanks, Alan. Here's Nurgard on the ball, Jensen. foul it most certainly was free kick given and they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game and no problems whatsoever for the goalkeeper as you can see the visitors haven't had too much of the ball but again we've seen it before we'll see it again their counter-attack play has been absolutely fantastic pace really hurts defences and they've got that in abundance wonderful chance oh he's found the net and that increases the advantage to two just what they wanted and just what they deserve well let's see that again oh he's so sweetly hit look at his technique absolutely brilliant he's got the power he's got the accuracy and now he's got himself a goal no shortage of goals on this match. 
Tremendous intuition to win it back. Let's join Alan McAnally because I'm hearing there's been a goal in the Leeds United match. Alan. It's a third goal for Leeds United. 74 minutes played. 3-2. Thanks, Alan. And it's a matter of what occurs in the final 15 minutes. Saeed Benrama. Quick thinking to dispossess his opponents. Patrick Bauer. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. And threading it forward. Dangerous looking attack. And that completes an impressive hat-trick. Well, keep counting. Three now. But at this rate, he's in for a hatful. Well, having scored two, he's going to get the hat-trick at some point, you feel. He's just so full of confidence. Never looked like missing. And as they restart the game, it's fair to say the gulf in quality between the two sides has been huge. And it was a very good-looking move, but alas, no end product. There's been a goal in the match at Kirkley Stadium. Let's hear about that goal from Allen. It's another goal for Huddersfield Town. It's been scored by Andy King. He found himself clean of the defence, kept his composure. Six minutes remain, 4-1. Thanks very much as always, Alan. And that puts them in position. So two substitutes to come on in one go. And a throw-in forthcoming. Kamohelo Mokocho. Gliding through the gears. We've had the official word, so will be a minimum of two added minutes. And just the one minute left in normal time here. Given away. And the referee blows for full time. And as we run the rule over this man's work, positive after positively. Well, when you go home after a game, you always critique your own game performance. He's got nothing to criticise about that game today. Some questions regarding the match. Thanks.
Well, the main story here is we are going to see in action the top scorer in the league. And it's live. Perfect pitch on a perfect day in this stadium. Martin Tyler here with Alan Smith, of course, alongside me. Well, the home team have all the incentive today. They have the chance of gaining promotion. Preston North End against Birmingham City. And what a huge day it would be if they could clinch promotion. It would help the club's development no end. They're trying to grow and build. And this is the only way. Looking for goal now. Goalkeeper able to make a save here. Colin. There's a win today, and uh, other opportunities, of course, will get them promotion, but that win will guarantee it in this match. Yeah, and I can't see them blowing it now. They have been consistent all season, and deservedly so. I think they will go up. Really anticipating some... It's a quick break. It's on the goal and went for it. Oh, that's what they've been looking for on this day that could be a day of celebration. And no wonder those players are going wild. They think they're almost over the line. Goalkeeper is annoyed with himself because he did get a piece of it. Not quite enough. I mean, it was half a hand, wasn't it? But it was well struck and too fierce for him. So the first goal, it's 1-0. Gomez, Maguire, well, he wants to run at them with the ball, it's good to see. That's a goalkeeper save there, but not a difficult one. At Craven Cottage is our man today, Alan McAnally, and he's got a goal to tell us about. It's a goal for Sheffield Wednesday, 16 minutes played, 1-0. Thank you very much, Alan. Still countering here, that's uh, a missed opportunity on the counter-attack. And the goalkeeper will get this one, no problem. Pearson saw the direction of the pass. Now they can swing into attack, and he's got some help. A chance for the equaliser. What a fine save. Please turn your lights off. Pearson. Excellent vision. Shoots! No way through for the shot. Blocked. They've lost the ball in a bad area. Can he shoot? The pressure has told. And they've caved in, really. Well, we all knew what was coming. Certainly the opposition did, but they could do nothing to stop it happening out there. Restarting at 2-0. Gary Gardner. What an effort it's been from this team in the quest for promotion. Time ticking towards celebration here. As it stands, they will go up. A hallmark of this team has been their concentration throughout this season, and they just need to retain that now. Shot on! Still a chance in there off the goalkeeper. Now they've won it here. They could be in. Still can't believe that didn't go in. Keeper, what a stop. Pedersen, Matausch. The visitors having lots of the ball, but you can see the manager down there is less than happy, obviously. It's a good pass in behind the defenders. Must score! It's gone in, but maybe it wouldn't have done if it hadn't deflected off the defender. Well, it's not easy to find the spirit here that they're going to need in these circumstances as they kick off again. Well, here he goes. It's good to see a player do this. Gary Gardner. Chance for a break in numbers. And the tackler really out of control and you just can't get away with that that's the referee's decision two added minutes 
at any time. Well, he's got a chance now to get forward in this wide area. Pulls it back now. Two for him today. And his team are benefiting from his sharpness in front of goal, knocking the ball into the back of the net. Well, this is when it's tough being a goalkeeper. A little bit more on it, and it would have been a very fine save. As it is, he's picking the ball out of the net. Yeah, he sets high standards, this lad, and I think he's... Well, so far, so good for them today, Alan, in their attempt to actually... really was a very one-sided first half and the team on the wrong end of that scoreline has got to show a bit of backbone now. It goes out wide again. In goes the cross. Got his foot in to cut out the pass. A chance to whip it in here. Strong, powerful clearance. Shaw sure. didn't want it to stop, did they? And the referees uh, got the sympathy of this match, I think. Cleverly done. Well, Ali's come and pinched the ball off the toes of the attacker. Well, as we know, you have to time these absolutely perfectly because the attacker will go down at the slightest touch so what about birmingham city's next game alan they're playing derby county in their next match in the championship so much at stake and i think it will be tense and tight good connection just off target over the top yeah that has flown off his foot the keeper's given the ball away Here's an opportunity, maybe. Sliding in, bit rash, got away with it. And the away team want to make a change. Well, a quick reminder that as it's guided through, tried to keep it down, but could. He had her, I think the keeper might have been struggling then. Number 16, Josh McKeeran. Well, you can see here, with those chances created, it's just a question of how many they're going to get. Really impressive performance by this team today. Maguire. Shaw. Sure. Maguire. And that will be a throw. He's going to make a change now. Brown. Baxter. A chance did open up for that kind of shot. Well, if you don't have a go. Matausch. Into the attacking third. Slip past his man now. Good interception there. Good stop by the goalkeeper. Well, he's gone in a bit on the wild side. Well, that episode is going to lead to a yellow card from the referee. Well, look at the ref, he reached for his pocket straight away. No uh, hesitation from him. Where it's a promising position, got to try and test the keeper here.
Here's the chance to get in the cross. They're coming in at the back post, his teammates. That's Birmingham's corner. Swung in from the corner. Disappointed that that didn't lead to more. Seven minutes to go, guiding the pass through. Brown. Maguire. Well, it looked promising and then broke down. Maguire. The referee has indicated there will be a and he's dealt with it. That dangerous moment. Well, tremendous joy at the final whistle because that does, Alan, confirm promotion for them. Yes, it does. And you have your ups and downs during the. Just a couple of questions for you. Thanks, that's all the questions we have for you.
It's not in their own hands. They must win and hope results elsewhere go in their favour to be crowned champions. The action is live. Hi everyone, it is an absolutely splendid day for football and we're looking forward to the game. My name is Derek Ray and joining me in the commentary position is the former Arsenal and England fullback Lee Dixon. And today could be a significant one for the travelling fans who are hoping their team will secure the league title. It's Bristol City and they take on Preston North End. Well, the travelling fans, Derek, are making themselves heard and why not? The title is there, it's touchable, they can see it almost into the lion's den to win it. No better place. Well, here's the Bristol City starting 11. It looks like a conventional 4-4-2. A preferred formation by Arsene Wenger when he arrived at Arsenal. Two main strikers, four across the midfield. Really important for the fullbacks to link up with the wide midfielders in this system. Gomez. Can he finish this? Well, he made that interception look routine. In truth, it wasn't. Well, let's run the rule over the Preston North End starting 11. Pretty well balanced this formation, Lee. Yeah, it can be a 4-2-3-1 in the offensive mode, but it can also go back to a 4-5-1 when you're defending. The lone striker will be supported by the three just behind. And he couldn't take advantage of that opportunity from close range, Lee. How close does he want to be to score? He's gone for power and fluffed his lines. So a look at the table. They could clinch the title, but they're going to need assistance, Lee. Well, Derek, if you get help elsewhere, then so be it. But you still have to go and do your bit, the controllable bit. Grasp the nettle, as they say. Go out and win it. And scope for the cross. It comes to absolutely nothing. Teammates in the middle. Well, he was being pursued furiously. The effort, though, nothing to write home about, really. No, I think you give the credit to the defender there. Just put him off balance. Well, you never quite know who's going to emerge from the shadows and become a match winner, but this man might be a decent shout. Lee, what are you expecting from him? Well, as soon as you start putting the ball in the net, three goals in the last three games, that breeds confidence. And when you've got a player that sharp in front of goal, he's a huge asset to the team. They look as though they want to make this move count. Using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. And let's join Alan McAnally because I hear there's been a goal in the Wigan game. Alan? It's a goal for Wigan Athletic. 25 minutes played, 1-1. Well, the news starting to feed its way around the stadium. If they have a chance for them to nudge in front. And the goal! And surely that's one hand on the title. Oh, how important could that be? Just look at the fans. They're going absolutely crazy. So the match has restarted. 1-0 here. To that fantastic effort, it's gone out for a throw in. Moving forward effectively. Now he must favour the cross, attending to his defensive chores. As you can see, the visitors haven't had too much of the ball, but again, we've seen it before, we'll see it again. Their counter attack play has been absolutely fantastic. Pace really hurts defences, and they've got that in abundance. And they do like to press whenever they can. It is to be a throw-in. Well, possession seeded. Well, that's one for them to pursue. It looked as though he might have been onside, but he was just a fraction off. Oh, I'm not so sure. I'd like to see that again. Gomez. Tremendous intuition to win it back. And a nudge. Sean Maguire. This might have potential. And the danger clear.
Gomez. He cuts it back. And it's gone in! Just what the doctor ordered. Things looking very bright for them now with this buffer. Well, they say there's no better time to score just before half-time. The team talk of both sides are going to be changing now. It's a good finish, Derek, and they deserve the lead. It's going their way, 2-0. Half time then, right now they are in position to be crowned champions. Tense battle so far, and now the second half is underway. Good tackle, it'll be a throw. And very deftly cut out. Wells. Odauda. Might be able to get in behind the defence. Targets to aim at. Keeper didn't quite do enough. And that was a very fine read. Cutting the ball back. Oh, it's off the post. He succeeds in clearing it. Well, I still can't believe that didn't go in. He was so unlucky not to score there, Derek. Cracking effort. And the keeper completely untroubled. Well, that is how to play advantage. Well, they were clearly on the receiving end, so a free kick is next. They will now make use of the substitutes bench. Darnell Fisher. Options in the centre. Oh, they've lost it. What an important piece of defending. A very attractive looking move. Easy on the eye, but nothing there. Might be able to produce from this position. Really good reading of the game to win possession back. Not much time left in this season, but they hold the cards to win the title. Wonderfully weighted pass. Well, it's a procession of goals, and surely there's no way they can let this slip now. Absolutely dominant. Well, as they restart the game, it's fair to say the gulf in quality between the two sides has been huge. Let's join Alan McInerney. I say that because there's been a goal at Craven Cottage, Alan. It's a second goal for Fulham. 67 minutes played, 2-1. Alan McInerney with his finger on the pulse. That ball was put into the right area, but no one over the capitalise. And it's come down to the final 20 minutes here. Oh, my goodness, he was right on top of the situation to get the ball back for his team. Is no oh, they would have been in a decent position there, but offside. Oh, what a wasted opportunity that is. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready, and now they will make the personnel change. Barkhausen. Oh, now I think the fans know they're going to be celebrating a tight. And it's a quality pass. And putting his body on the line... Powerful enough, but not precise enough. No, not accurate enough at all. He had other options on as well. Well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. And the attacking options appear plentiful. And given away.
Backhausen on the ball. Wonderful block. Adam Nudge. Room to manoeuvre on the wing. And just like that, they've lost possession. And they'll have to throw it back in play. A foul it most certainly was. Free kick given. Substitution time it is. An important interception. Samuel Adeg Benro. Adam Nudge. And he has clear options in the middle. Insufficient guile on the crossing front, you've got to say. The electronic board has been held aloft. Two additional minutes here. Intelligent threaded pass here. Fair play to the keeper. He really anticipated that moment of subtlety. Well, he came off his... That's it, the referee brings the action to an end. Well, memories, memories for players in these situations, Lee. Well, it's always nice to win any trophy, cup competitions, but when you win your own domestic league, that, to me, is the pinnacle of being a player. Yet the table does not lie. And so, the league champions. Yeah, brilliant, they deserve it. They really have been the best team this season. And that's where you end up, top of the pile. And not by accident either. All part of the master plan, and the trophy is theirs. And this is always part of the fun, Lee, the photographs. Absolutely, one for the scrapbook. Not so sure players have scrapbooks these days, but I've still got mine in the loft somewhere. So there we have it, the league champions. We've got some questions for you. Thanks, that's all.